Hi guys, hey, it's Angie with Feisty Butterfly Tarot, and today we are going to do a reading for Aries. This is for September 2020, early on, and we will see how things are going for you. We'll take a few cards to see what's currently going for you, and maybe what's coming at you, and give you some advice. Okay, Aries, right now what you've got is a juggling going on. You've got the two of coins going. You're not sure how to balance things. It feels like you're stretching to even get both sides going on. This might feel like robbing Peter to pay Paul. It might feel like you just can't stretch anything any thinner, but there is a balance. It's a stretch required, but you're able to do it. It's a juggling of resources, time, and finances. You have the six of cups going on. This is happiness, sweet nostalgia, emotions. Um, Thoughts of childhood when things were easy, when times were easy and came easy and everything was blossoming. Sometimes we oversweeten the past, but there is a lot of love being offered. I would look for that energy all around you. This is another six, and this is the six of swords. This is a leaving. This is a having to go, having to take the lessons you've learned, take the knowledge you have, whatever weaponry, assets, energy, and baggage, whatever it is, you have to move forward now. This is leaving some of the old things. Now, the song Blue Bayou comes to mind in, in that song. She's always going back to Blue Bayou where everything's all nice, basically. Um, it, it's a leaving of those easier times. Surround yourself with that energy, but realize also that in growing up, we have to decide what we want to carry forward. We have to decide what's clear. We have to figure out what to cut away and what to move forward with. So these are the things that are going on, swirling around in you. And this is more, not just finances, but resources of time, resources of where you want to invest. Those are the things that you're trying to balance right now. All right. You also have the Three of Cups, very happy in celebration times. Time to sit and have tea with your friends or toast something, go for a drink. This is where friends and community are around, and there's light to be gained by sharing the community experience, by celebrating. You're looking for the happy family period of time coming at you. You're looking for this coming up, and it seems distant to you. It is there, but it seems distant. It's there. It's a good thing to go for, to strive for, and to want, and it's coming at you. These ten cups are here. Things are going to be coming up and turning up well. So it, it could be that you're actually moving. I, I don't know, Aries. You could be actually moving geographically. I don't know. But new location, new land, new way of being, new way of doing. And then you have the King of Pentacles. This is somebody who's loyal, faithful, trustworthy. Um, it could be just the energy that's the masculine energy, or it could be actually a man. But it's somebody who's very supportive, who understands how to be practical, do things in the earthly realm, in the material realm, to really manifest something that is tangible. And as long as you're doing your part, this guy very very loyal good friend to have on your side okay next out we have some advice okay the eight of swords for advice the nine of swords actually for advice okay the eight of swords you usually see the person bound in their swords all around them sometimes they're blindfolded the nine of swords you typically see somebody they're asleep and there's all these swords overhead and they can't sleep this is depicted here. It's a very different kind of nine of swords. All these swords are coming at you. You feel like your hands are bound, but if you could just wriggle a little, you could cut yourself free. Very eight of swords type energy. However, it's also like you're just hanging onto this rope for, for whatever reason. You're trying to get free of it, but also you've got those fingers curled around. You're not ready to release that yet, and you're tired and you're worn out. Something's troubling your mind. This is something you need to let go of. This is anxiety and worry, and it's time to settle down so you can rest, so you can have things come in. And this, this is all good coming in. You have the seven of coins. It's time to evaluate, see what is harvesting and worth harvesting, and what is maybe time to cut away. Again, things you need to cut away, things you need to figure out. Yeah, you're stewing, but mostly you just need to rest and get clear. This is anxiety. There will be some anxiety. If you truly are moving, 
Of course there's going to be stress and anxiety. But the seven of coins is here. Whatever you've planted wants to come, wants to come forward and grow. Then you have the nine of cups. So you have a nine and a nine going on, just FYI. The nine of cups is where you, you want to host. You want to have the party. You have lots to offer. There's lots of love being offered around you. There will be people around you. And in this one, you have all the cups, the table set. It's ready to be there, but nobody's there. I really get the sense that for you, Aries, for one of you specifically, or maybe more than a few of you, more than a few of you, you are actually moving. You're, you're going to have to make new friends. You're going to have to adjust to new situations. You're moving into a new stage of life, a new opportunity. Something's presenting. It's a good thing for you. Let's find out a little bit more about these energies. See what's going on for you. Yeah, it, let's get clear about um, what you're harvesting. The things that you want to harvest and have come forward. Whoa, okay. Okay, again, this is two people leaving it. They're leaving their community. They feel isolated. They feel lack. They feel like stretched too thin and cold and left out outside of the church, outside of the community, outside of the tradition. They're on their own. They're leaving. They can choose to go in or they can stay outside. This feeling of lack, this feeling of stress and what do I harvest? I asked about what's harvesting. So there is stress where you're feeling like you're on the outside, but look what's there to me this is look what's right behind you look where the support is look what you can recognize that's there for you this five of swords indicates that there was a battle or a battle you're avoiding that's emotional ruthless maybe some bullying this is a bad time that you're leaving this is the five and this is the six you need to leave whatever that energy is behind whatever felt like it was cutting you away making you isolated making you be outside of it it's time for you to find your tribe and your new community. Find those around you who adore you. Let's find out more. This is what's coming up. If you feel like you're um, dislocated, misplaced, in the wrong place, you probably are. This is an uncomfortable time for you. You probably are in the wrong place, but look what's coming. Your tribe is out there waiting for you. The table is set. Everything's laid. So it, it's coming. It's coming. Don't let the stress of what you've experienced be too harsh. Look at this time of celebration and happiness. Usually this is <sighs> rites of passage, weddings, um, births, celebrations, happy times that are outside the home, and happy family. A time for joyousness. Sometimes this is a, a partnering where you've got the 1111. It's not just about partnering. When I say that, it's also about synchronicity and knowing what time it is. A sense of timing for you when things feel right and things coming into that thing where everything's coming up roses. Everything's going right. This everything's coming up roses energy that you felt you're needing to leave, you're longing for. You want that. Ten of Pentacles. I totally like... This is what you want, happy family inheritance, to create that family, that sense of community, the sense that you're building and growing and expanding. Again, Six of Swords and Knight of Wands. Six of Swords, we already talked about. You're pretty clear on that. The Six of Swords, you definitely need to choose what baggage to leave behind, what way of thinking to leave behind. And then this Knight of Wands, this new action, take action. Follow your passion. What is this new desire? What is this new career, new opportunity, new thing you need to pursue? Definitely pursue it. It's time to get this gone, not feel this anxiety anymore. Time to step into this. Follow these opportunities. This is really what you want and what you're going for. Is there anything else that we can tell little Aries or all Aries that might be helpful for them? Okay, this is the um, Five of Cups and it's sorrow. Definitely, you've got five, five, five. But I want you to look at this for a minute. You have this moment where you are by yourself, grieving the losses, whatever has 
been spilt, the sacrifices made, the things that you have to leave, that there's no recovering. You have to have time to grieve that loss. But there's also the two other cups that are just waiting. There's the two cups, the opportunity, the things to take forward. It's not saying leave everything behind. Gather what you have that's your lessons that are of value. Gather the emotional support that you have to take with you. It is time for you to move on and move forward in your world. Mourn the loss, but don't take forever about it. It is time to move forward. It's definitely time. Take the time to grieve it and then go forward. All right. Thanks, Aries. Take care. Bye-bye.